Hello everybody, what is going on and welcome back to the My Player Career Mode. Good to see you, I hope I find you well. We've got some explaining to do because I've recorded three games in the series and unfortunately when I came around to editing those games, I found out that the face cam and the audio were not in sync and I don't know why. The settings, I, I did not change a single thing but for some reason they managed to get out of sync and um, yeah, not ideal. I wonder if I had a little bit of lag and maybe that knocked it out, but in future, I'll make sure to check before the episode that everything is working as it should be. So I guess I'll run you up to speed on the games that you may have missed. Well, you have missed, which is thankfully only one real um, major result to show you that you actually did miss. So we played the preseason tour semi-final. We beat Columbus Crew 2-0 to go through to the final. Um, that was probably the best game of the episode, to be fair, that, that you're not going to see. Because we actually won the game. We didn't play unbelievably, but we won the game. We then played Rea Doss in the final. And I'm not even joking when I say this. They beat us 2-0 and they beat us comfortably. We did not have a single shot that was a clear-cut chance. So I was feeling pretty annoyed. And then we had the Community Shield against Liverpool. And this is the game that you... Well, I wanted to show you because... You're looking at the result and probably thinking, what on earth happened? We actually took the lead in this game. Um, we played an assist to Willian, scored inside eight minutes, and then after that, did not have a chance. Liverpool battered us, winning 5-1. Henderson scored twice, I think, in the game as well. I was a little bit stumped, really, about what to do because, as I'm about to show you as well, we were still playing up front in those games and... Lacazette and Aubameyang are no longer Arsenal players. They've both been sold. Lacazette has gone to Inter Milan and Aubameyang has gone to Barcelona in combined for about £130 million. So, realistically, they need to reinvest that money into a striker and try and get somebody in because I was playing up front and I don't want to play up front, as you know. We are supposed to be playing out wide. So... That's kind of put me in this position where I don't know what I want to do now because going out on loan seems like the best option, i.e. because I don't want to have the pressure of playing up front and not enjoying the first season with Arsenal where it's likely to be quite a struggle. Um, do I go down to Legendary and, pl and play on Legendary for a bit and see how that goes? I, I think I'll start the Premier League season, but it's more taking a look at your guys' suggestions because if Arsenal don't sign a striker then we're playing up front pretty much for the season. And that's not as we were we were wanting. But let's think positively for the rest of this episode. Try and win as many games as we can. You never know. We might start scoring hat-tricks left, right and centre and uh, take this Arsenal team forward. We've got Everton in our first game of the season, which we are selected for. Again, it will be in the striking position, it looks like. And uh, I actually am going to bump the difficulty down for this one to legendary. The rest of the team looks good. Martinelli on the left. So yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a team that's in their right position apart from myself. Oh, and we signed Joe Gomez uh, in the last video too. Uh, but obviously, well, not in the last video. In that, um, in that little recording that doesn't quite make it to YouTube now. So yeah, welcome to him. Go down to legendary competitor mode. Oops. Imagine if I'd, imagine if I'd clicked start on 20-minute games. Everton corner, Sigurdsson stands over this, whips it in, Richarlison's there. And like that, it's the first goal the way of the home side. Not picked up from the corner, Richarlison will head it home. Um, defensively, and there's, there's the, when we played against Liverpool, we saw this. I don't know why. The Arsenal team just don't apply pressure. I, I don't even know if it's just Arsenal, it might be every team. Um, but yeah, when they try and defend their AI, they just don't apply pressure. They sort of sit off and just wait and wait and wait. And then eventually when the player gets into the, into the penalty area or around it, that's when they'll try and make a tackle. But I'm always a fan of the press, which at this moment in time we are not seeing. Let's go to attacking. First shot, first goal for Everton. Willian, nice ball through to us. We need some support inside the penalty area here. Trying to pull it across. And Coleman's there with a vital touch. Granit Xhaka keeps this alive for Arsenal. Now we'll play it through. Are we onside? We are not onside. Torreira out towards Martinelli. I'm at the back post. Martinelli's ball is there. And Pickford keeps it out. Offside. No. 
I mean, it's probably going to be close again. Like... Xhaka has the run in the middle from Torreira! Equalises there for Arsenal. And it's Lucas Torreira who's got it. It starts off actually with us winning the ball on the left-hand side. I tried to play a pass. I thought Tierney was going to overlap um, on the left wing and he didn't. Gave away the ball, so I went straight back and won it off of Coleman. And then the pass into Xhaka, he lays it across to Torreira. There's a big gap in that Everton defence. And a much-needed equalising goal. Pickford here, what's he doing? He might have just made a mistake. He has made the mistake. We've won it back. And now we find Pepe to Ceballos. How have we let them get away with that? Poor corner from Everton by all accounts. And now we need a runner in front of us. The ball's gone long. The pace is there. Here is Willian. It's wide. We did everything right. The pace of the pass. The movement. It all stemmed off of a poor James Rodriguez corner ball in. We take it up the field of play. It's just me and Willian trying to attack. Lay him through and he's got to hit the target there. I believe Dominic Calvert-Lewin is on for, uh, for Everton. Meanwhile, Richarlison's gone off. We've got five minutes left here. A point. I'm not sure like, if I'm happy with that because I feel like we've deserved a bit more from the game. Everton have only just started to get back into this. You know, they took the lead early on and then after that, we didn't create a massive amount, but we were the team trying, right? And there is full time from Goodison Park. 1-1 one, one the score. Torreira equalising after Richarlison opened up the scoring. But still not a tremendous performance from us. Nice to see we've picked up man of the match from that game, though. Um, an 8.2 match rating. So we got a bunch of accomplishments for that. And uh, we can move on. Hopefully that helps us with our overall. Um, yeah, I think personally, I did what I needed to do there. You know, playing in that striking position when you're out of position as hard as it is. But did enough. We've just got to make sure that we're punishing teams when they make mistakes like Everton did with the Pickford goal kick, man. Still don't know how they got away with that. So, again, back to training. Back to trying to improve. I might switch one of these out in a moment if we are playing up front to like a finishing type one. I've got precision penalty on, but I'm only getting a D grade for that every time, which isn't the best growth. What's our next game? It's Leeds United in the league. We're in the team of the week as well. So, yeah, we're getting stuff done. Albeit, have we seen a new signing for Arsenal yet? Leeds United, is this going to be at home as well? I believe so. Yes, it is. Okay. So as the accomplishments come through, transfer news, any other deals happening? Roma have signed Yeri Mina. Leicester complete Luke Shaw signing. But as of right now, there is no news in regards to a striker coming in to Arsenal. So keep your eyes peeled. I'll try and make sure I'm updating you as much as I can. As for the teams then, here they are. We have gone with an unchanged 11, I want to say. On the other side, you can see the Leeds team. Um, it's probably as you'd expect, apart from Cook into midfield. Is that Lewis Cook? Has he returned to Leeds United? That would be pretty cool to see, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, let's head off into this one live at the Emirates. Free kick in a really dangerous area. Rodrigo stands over this and he struck the woodwork. Big chance already for Leeds United. They're known for their high pressing as well. So this game will not be easy. We'll not get much time on the ball. Have they got another chance in them right here? Well, we're struggling to win possession back for one. So that's not ideal. We do now have it. Torreira looks to go over the top. I'll chase this, but I don't think I'm going to get there. That decision is exactly what I'm talking about. When we get back possession, which we need to be using effectively. However, Koch has made a meal of this. And now as we work our way through... It's a goal for Arsenal. It's our first as well at the Emirates. There's the celebration I was talking about. Another free kick for Leeds. And again, in a dangerous area, Rodrigo again goes for goal. But this time, Leno will hold on to it. That's two free kicks they've had. Leeds being forced a little bit deeper than they would probably like here as Willian's got us in a great position. Now we need somebody else in there. There's the pass across. Torreira to make it to. Wraps up the points here at the Emirates. Space out wide for Willian, the ball into his path. And now he has it on the right-hand side. If he can put a good cross back into the middle, I'm there to challenge. Free header, free header, glanced into the far post. Arsenal lead by three, we've got a second. What a cross as well. Get in! 
that is such a nice goal. I don't know. I don't normally score with my head as well, so to score one's pretty, pretty nice. But from there, you can't miss. It's just, it's just perfect. The the delivery's perfect, and then it's got to sort of glance it back across Casilla into that far corner. And to think that this started off with Leeds hitting the crossbar through Rodrigo, and then since then we scored three without reply. So that's two goals in our first two Premier League matches as well. Maybe Arsenal don't need a striker as much as I don't want to be playing up there. We're finding the net today. Full time here at the Emirates then. And there is the result. A 3-0 win. Two goals. One assist as well for us playing at striker. There's the performance I was looking for. Let's build on this though now. Let's take it forward and keep this momentum going. There was a question about boots in the last episode. So I'll quickly scroll through and show you what we have available to us. Um, with the catalogue not being in the game, I'm not sure how we unlock more. We will find out in due course though. So... Right now, I'm using these ones, the Nike Mercurial Vapor, whatever they are. Um, but we do have a quite a fair bit to choose from, to be fair. And if you're wondering what my celebration was in that last game, let me show you that. Is it under... Oh, it's animations, isn't it? Yeah. My celebration is tea. Love a good cup of tea, so thought I'd go for that. Um, so there you go. That's, that's the setup I'm currently running. Um, oh, yeah, one more thing. What did I choose in the way of my player? Because I saw another question on that as well. Uh, playing style is just winger. Um, it was box to box or winger you could choose from. So I went for uh, the latter. And um, we're supposed to be playing midfield left, as you'll see. But that's not happening, of course. So that is the play style that I went with with my player. I'm going to go back to ultimate here. We did just play the first two games on Legendary, but we're going to, to return to Ultimate for our visit to Villa Park. Grealish on the left, Watkins up front, Ross Barkley in the middle as well. I'm not even in the team, actually. I've got a quick sim. Oh, I'm not in the team. Are you joking? I've just scored twice. I just assumed I was in the team. All right, well, Balogun starting then. So, quick sim. Let's see what this brings. How am I not in the team? We won 3-1. Goals from Martinelli twice. Watkins pulled one back before Pepe made sure to win the game with his goal. Well, Arsenal did bring in a striker. They've brought in Ilicic. So now that means we have an out-and-out -out striker. I'm not actually starting the next game. Let me get the face cam back up for you. Um, yeah, we're not actually starting this one. It's the... North London Derby as well. Just to let you know, I put in a loan request just to make sure that I was listed before deadline day. That has been accepted. So Spurs, North London Derby. Ilicic is there. Martinelli starts on the left-hand side. So essentially, it looks like I'm fighting against Martinelli for a spot in the Arsenal first team. For Spurs, the recent goal, you can see it's a strong team. First North London derby of the series. Quick sim, who has come out on top? 2-1 and Spurs dominated the game. I'm trying to show you the uh, goal scorers here, but it's not letting me actually show you who scored. So we'll just have to advance through. So defeat in the North London derby then. And now we have a real question on our hands because I, I want to stay and fight for a spot. But with the transfer window now closing, I I'm saying it, if there's no loan deal that comes through, we have to stay and fight for a spot anyway. But it's the fact that I scored twice against Leeds and set one up. And yet, since that game, I've been taken out the team. An hour to go. And it's looking like we are remaining at Arsenal for this first six months at least, even being on the loan list. Transfer window has closed. We move on. Sheffield United away, Wolves at home, Fulham away and Chelsea at home are the next four matches. Sheffield United is right now and we are not in the side. Malin is in. I knew, I knew there'd be a period of time where I was not going to be in the side because that is how it goes when you stay at a top team. However, my only concern is that I actually did all right in the pre-season tour. We played well against Leeds. 10 match rating couldn't have done any better. Gabriel's goal here, enough for the points. And uh, now we're just not even being considered. So we have to work harder on the training ground, I guess, and make sure we are putting in those performances on the training pitch in order to make it into the first team, which, as you'll see, 
We're about to hit 71 rated. There you go. So we are still growing nicely. We're progressing nicely as well. And eventually we'll hit an overall where Arteta has to consider putting us back into the team. All right, Europa League time. Braga is the first game. Once again, not selected as Braga's team on the left, our team on the right. Quick sim to get the result here. I might just keep quick simming until I'm actually in the side for you. Uh, I know it's not the most entertaining thing to world in the what uh, thing to world in the watch. Watch in the world. Pepe's goal one nil. The result is ours. On to the next one. Now for Wolves as well, as this result will pop up on the screen. Chelsea's actually a cup game. No! 4-2 defeat to Wolves here. Martinelli opened the scoring before they hit 4 without response. And then Willian scored again. Yikes. 4-2 defeat. That's not good. All right, we're back in the team for this cup game against Chelsea. Starting on the left wing. That's what you want to see. They've gone for a very strong team, though. Uh, you'll see ours, but look at their side. It's pretty much one of their full-strength 11s. So, Lampard clearly wanting to win this one. But we'll see. This is our first game playing at our natural position. Werner to Ziyech. Look at the space that he's got. How's he got so much space? Chelsea have, have not even let up. Literally, they, they've sat on the edge of our penalty area, which is... Probably as you'd expect. They've got the better team. It's a very strong side from Frank Lampard and Chelsea. But just want to try and break out of our own half, really. Because we can't seem to do that at the moment. And it's too easy. Like, look at them step out. I'll say the AI decision-making hasn't seemed to improve from last year's FIFA anyway. So often they're making strange passing choices, even on ultimate difficulty. But, um, yeah, 1-0 down in this game. And finally, we actually do... Get a touch of the ball in an advanced area, which we take forward. Now, Malin needs to play it back. I'm going to be offside now. Yep, as soon as I, uh, soon as I received that pass, that flag was going up. So, wasted the first chance we've had, basically, of going forward. But this is what I'm talking about. When Werner's carrying forward here, nobody's stepping to try and put pressure on him. So, he has a free pass over the top. Everybody's just backing off and backing off and waiting for one of the centre mids to come back and make the challenge. But... If they're not in a position where they can, you've got to put the pressure on him. You're just allowing him to walk forward towards your goal. Doesn't make any sense. This has been a training match for Chelsea today. Ziyech through to Werner. Saved by Leno. They've had nothing to worry about defensively, though. We have not created. And uh, I am, I'm going to go down to legendary because the game as well. Just, the chances aren't there. At least on legendary, we were seeing some action. So... Yeah, 1-0 Chelsea. Didn't even get a chance to, to really impress or anything like that. We move on anyway. Keep going. Not even a single shot for us to show from that game. Not what you want to see. I think, though, that is where we'll end today's episode, guys. A massive thank you for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it anyway. We had that great game against Leeds, and we played really well there. Everton earlier was a 1-1 draw, so at least we... You know, we're able to make something happen in that game as well. Uh, for Fulham, we're not in the side, sadly. So it'll be back to simming games until we are again. We do, however, have one loan offer that's come through. It's from Rotherham. I've not yet accepted or rejected this. Um, if we do choose to go on loan, we will go in January for six months to a club. And we'll see what happens with that. If I'm not playing by January, I'm definitely off out on loan because I want to play games, you know. And if I'm not getting that Arsenal, which I, I don't expect I'll start every game. I don't expect to start every other game, to be fair. Um, but when you score twice and set up one, I don't expect to be chucked straight back out of the team, you know? So it is what it is. We'll try and work hard in the training ground. We'll try and keep going and see if we can get back into this Arsenal team. And if not, we'll head out on loan somewhere for six months and make our name elsewhere. But I thank you all so much for your support so far on FIFA 21. I'm excited to bring you guys as much content as possible. If you are new around here and like what you see, hit that subscribe button down below. I apologize, as I said, for the um, the issues with the three games I'd already recorded. Really isn't ideal, but at the same time, I don't want to put them out, especially when the audio is so out of sync. So hopefully you understand that and uh, understand why. Until next time, stay safe, have a great day, have a great evening, and I'll catch you all again very soon. Adios!